What is up, everyone? This is Jedi from Eternal Journey, the podcast, and we're going to be bringing you a Defiance draft now. Just finished up the Sealed League, so Burning Hope. Now we're going to bring you a draft. You can check out the podcast, talk about all things Eternal with a focus on limited play on iTunes, SoundCloud, and uh, YouTube. So this pack, uh, hmm... Temple Captain is not bad, and the reason why I say it is, is if you can pick up some Guardians and stuff, I feel like it's pretty good. It does kind of like push us in one color, which I don't mind playing time. Uh, makeshift Barrier is a great card, keeps us open. That being said, there are quite a few cards in this pack that mm, potentially might reel. Both of these, not stellar cards, but they are a thing. I do like Intimidator. Uh, Huntsman's just fine, Mob Rule's fine. I'm really not on the Oni Samurai train. I don't know if someone else is or if they vote it highly. Uh, the egg is okay, good. Tumbling Sloth is just fine. I don't think I want to take it early. So I will, ooh, sweet, and it went for my collection. So I will take the temple. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, I have not really played this card. Not really seen much of it. Uh, this could potentially lead us into fixing. But I'm not thrilled about it just yet. Uh, let's see, Sinead Forge is great. So for me, uh, I think it would be the Sentinel and the Forge. And the Forge is just awesome. It triggers so many renowns. Gives all your guys like just automatic pluses and stuff. Even if it is do nothing, the turn it comes to play, it kind of gets the value back pretty quickly. Um, I think I like it over cargo since we're not sure what our other two colorless are so I'll take the forge all right I really hate taking a seven drop this early uh, both of these are great though um, seeing this guy just the fact that he has amplify plus overwhelm just makes him really good actually they both have overwhelm uh, I might be a little inclined to taking the forge born just because it has the pledge and it potentially is in our colors already uh, of note, uh, let's see, haven't really been a fan of the Owl. I've lost to it, but I still don't think it's great. Aerial Spotter is just fine. Sandcrawler is a gun filler. Fireheart Recruit is solid. Um, I think, though, I might actually just take the Forge one just because it's uncommon. It, it is really early to take it. We're filling up the top of our curve kind of early, but I guess then we can really focus and prioritize the bottom end so and it is still on pseudo art colors so i'll take forgeborn here uh let's see let's see okay uh i do like perry that's a solid uh combat trick that triggers renowned uh eternity core could potentially ramp us uh circle glider is good and it's a relic so maybe that might be the pick uh, uh, let's see. Fire mean is just, f it's fine. I mean, it triggers itself. Oh, the round, oh. Play two char cats with charge. Oh, I didn't see that update. I saw them take the toughness away. I didn't realize that they made it so it was two wildcats. Oh, man, I really don't know about this Eternity Core. I think it does keep us in two colors, and I'm kind of sure. Uh, no, I'm going to take the low drop more. I think we could pick up a charity core late. I do like the glider as well. Um, but yeah, I'll take the renowned guy. Uh, let's see what we got here. Pistol whip is fine. Bear arms is good. Burglar is just okay. Uh, that being said, it does combo with the forge really well. There's an argument for meltdown. But I think if I had to dabble, I think Bear Arms might be the better payoff than Pistol Whip, even it being an uncommon. So I'll take Bear Arms here. Let's see what else we're getting. All right, so if we go blue, the Cardivus Sauropod is an option. Reckless Renown Play. That could be a payoff, but it's kind of high. So think here there's an argument as well taking the compass for the relic matters things but we have a blue card we have a green card and a blue card so i'm going to take the sauropod just to see what might be open later on in the packs um we're also seeing now uh 
purple. Oh no, this is two different colors. So we're not taking sloth here. I wonder if we just take it to be the recruit for the pledge. This is pseudo fixing with time. This is a premium card. Um, I think one Spitfire is okay, but it is slow. So does ramp you a turn? Sure. All right. Let's see. All right. Well, I think here we just take Awaken the Ages. I think it's what I'm most comfortable with. We already have two. I'm gonna leave slots. I really don't want to take this too early. And it has Reckless. Having Flyers could lean us in the blue. It does synergize with Relics. But we can pick this up late. It's still an uncommon, so let's take one Awaken. Blaze. Mm. Uh, so let's take the Surveyor because of the pledge factor. Uh, nothing doing here, so I'll just take the Compass. Uh, draw a Relic from your Void or negate enemy spell. It costs one or less. I think we'll just take in case we get like a crazy void, cool. All right, so let's right, let's see. What we got sure shot. Sure shot has a plus three, plus three for each weapon she is wielding. Sure shot has one more while she has eighteen or more. Hmm. Let's see what else is in the pack. Adventure is solid. I do like artisan. Uh, this is some fixing. I do like the archaeologist as well, but maybe this is the payoff. Could slap some weapons on her. Uh, gun rustler, not excited about. Flying, meh. Yeah, I think it'd be between these three and sure. I'll take the top end rare, so we might be cutting, still kind of figuring out what our other color is going to be. So I'll take that, and I think that kind of solidifies our top. Oh, well, wait, hold on. Ambush, fate, you see the top card now. Not really that excited about that card, so we're good with that. Uh, let's see, nothing. Neither of these green cards really pull me in too far. Uh, I do like this guy if it does give us the green splash, which right now is only one card. Bear Arms. Uh, blue is two cards, which neither are really impactful. Uh, so we'll just stick with red. And I like the fact that we play a weapon. We draw a card. Uh, yeah, let's go with that guy. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Crypting Edges is not a bad uh, relic. I do like Javelin, I feel like it kills something. Uh, we're not double splashing. So for me, it would be between these two. I mean, we could potentially play green, this is fine, but we're not that in power deck that I see. So. I'm going to take the Javelin. I like the chance of it being a removal spell. Alright, let's see what this guy. 3-3, three, three, plus 2, plus away. You have a Relic, Ultimate, play 5 to play a Power Stone. Yeah, just it being baseline 3-3 three, three for 3, I think is solid. Uh, there is, here's a weapon that triggers with our Smith, and it does trigger Renown. But this guy is just all around by himself good, or with Party. So yeah, I'll take Splunkler. Uh, once again, this guy, eh, not exciting. Uh, permafrost, there we go. That's some premium removal. That might be what pushes us in the blue. Takes out the bare arms. Let's see what else we got going on. Uh, this might be another, I'm not thrilled about it, but it is another way to trigger. Uh, oh, well, we also have, hmm. Deal one damage, a plus one, plus one, or overwhelm. I think the overwhelm might be better. And it kind of still keeps us only splashing blue. Uh, that being said, there is a banner, but I think we want a couple ways. What was the reason? Uh, I know we had a... All right, so that's one renown. We got snowball. Not very exciting. What else? Quartermaster. That's what it was. Quartermaster triggers off of weapons. And it goes with the fort. So, yeah. Take that. So, yeah, let's go with, hmm, give a guy a unit or the archaeologist. Archaeologist will ramp us a little bit, make sure we hit, continue to hit our stuff, so I'll take it. 
yep we definitely need some bottom end so I think we actually take the priest here excellent yeah red blue yeah yeah there we go cool oh man sledge is good too though uh that's a little tough I think I might get a little greedy here let's see so this guy's actually on our colors that we want versus this is just the common to any of them you know what I mean hmm and we are gonna get triggers off of the yeah I'll, I'll I'll make the adult play and take and then of course this pack has nothing for us so we'll just take the fire take that out uh, we're not playing that either so that will go away all right and now we're not playing green so we'll cut the bare arms I think that's it uh, this guy may or may not be a thing but we'll cut it all right what's this Shepherd your cards with overwhelm cost one less when you play a card with overwhelm you gain three hmm I mean we can oh well we also have a final shot And another stranger. Your cards will overwhelm. I don't think we have overwhelm. One. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll just take final shot. It is eight, but it's a removal spell. Plus, you just get in there. Like, this card's great. Uh, Hurler is solid, too. Really solid. Um... We also have the stranger we just picked, Skycrack Stranger, just function solid, but I'll take the uncommon here. Oh man, Sprite and Changey Stick. I think Changey Stick is still the pick here. I know it's seven to do it now, and we're starting to kind of up our top end quite a bit, but this is just a unit that could be easily removed. Yeah. Take changey stick. Oh man, that's pretty annihilate. Uh, it's kind of really pretty. Small part of me wants to take it, but I'll make the deciding um, top play. So we have welding torch, which we can fit in our curve low end and seek power. And I think, I think I'm just gonna take the seek power here. Um. Hostash is a combat trick, and we really don't have that many. We're cutting this guy, cutting that. Hmm. Being said, three power one is, is definitely not easy. We are primarily in two colors. Beh, I'll still make the adult play. I'll take the seek power here. Hopefully we get rewarded later on. All right, well, yeah, so here's, I need threes. There's a relic. We don't have that many spells, even though it is good. So I'm gonna take the hammer here. I think sharpshooter might be able to pass. What's our units looking like? So I don't think we're gonna play the Yeti. It's just a splash. So we're really hurting. On our bottom end that kind of makes me lean towards this guy more but I also don't want to pass up a hammer so I am gonna take the hammer here uh, man archaeologist or a priest so let's see that puts us on one two three four five six yeah, that's way too much already. I think we're good. So let's take the priest. Uh, another javelin. Ugh. Being so many priests. Yeah. I mean, we just need the bottom end, right? And we're splashing blue, so... Hmm. Sure. Oh, here we go. I like that. I think I actually, yeah, it gives us a relic, gives us something to do. Uh, student deals with damage. Yeah, I like that. Over a silence unit and draw a card. We are weak to flyers, though. We are weak to flyers. All right, I'm gonna take 
Oh, kill it. Ooh. Darn it. This one's a little tougher. We have fives, and we might have some more units. So, take the pseudo removal spell. Red, blue, sweet. I'll take that pickup. Meh. Alright, let's see. Uh, and there's another sauropod, which may actually be the pick. Let's see, what's this guy do? 4 6 draw a relic from your void? No. I mean, it's solid body. This is pretty good too, good tempo play, but we're really hurting on bottom end. And I think this just has the payoff because it hits at two points in our curve, so I'm actually gonna take the sauropod here. Ooh, siege breaker oh, and ambition, but we're not in those colors. Uh, plays. So yeah, I think siege breaker is just a pick here. All right, not. It's not bad. I'll take Siege Breaker. Uh, let's see. So it's between Grandfather Axe and the Cloak. Hmm. I've never played with Cloak, honestly. I might just take it to try it out. Uh, though this repeatedly draws us cards. Never mind, we actually just have to take the pack beast here. Uh, we're still, I'm not thrilled about running Sanctuary Priest, believe it or not. So we'll take the pack beast. What's this do? When it goes to your void, you get one power. Not, yeah. Uh, that guy for the pledge? Nah. I'm just going to take this just for the rarity thing. Uh, where is it? I'm not going to play it though. Ooh, there you go. That's a good pickup. Uh, I do like Frost Talisman as well, but this guy's just, it gives us a little bit of reach and flying, so I like that. I think we'll get another one. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that looks neat. I like that. I've never seen that card in premium. Uh, do we want another Wake in the Aegis? We want a Traveler. That is low drop. And this is blue red. Or Wake in the Aegis. Hmm. Think we take the fixing here. I mean, they're both technically fixing, but this is random. Uh, can't attack, but it does block well. I'll take the fixing here. There we. Oh man, this is. All three of these are great. Uh, where are we at on threes? Uh, nothing, nothing. Two pods. Uh, let's take... Uh, it's between these two, and I think this guy is just better in more situations. I think we're going to be okay on splashing for blue, so I could probably pass on the Bannerman. We'll see if we may get another one. Nothing going on here. Literally nothing. So let's just take the bear. Uh, yeah, I think I take the mass animancy here. Uh, there's an argument once again for grandfather axe, but and we could pump her. But I want some pseudo removal, and this can get rid of pesky stuff. All right. I uh, don't think we're going to take another assistance. We'll just take the Avasaur. Uh, I will take a Court Mage. I like that one. I think that's a good pickup for us. All right. So let's see. Our deck is not phenomenal, but I don't think we're in bad shape either. Didn't quite come together like I want it to, but that's okay. We may keep the Aegisaur. Let's see what we got going on. So one Pack Beast, one Locust. I'm trying to think. If, yeah. Hmm. I know we cut one of these, it's just a matter of which one. I think pay two to get one ramp, and it does pay us our blue splash, so maybe we do cut Priest, let me see, Fire Mane, Oni, Sand, Season Guy, I like Court Mage, Splashes again, Siege Breaker is good, Pledge, Captain, 
store shot. Oh yeah, cut this guy. Pledge. What do we have? We only have one guy that really cares about a relic and he makes a relic. So let's go ahead and cut the compass. Sledge is fine. Once per turn, you may pay. Gives us an endless supply of blockers, but we may be getting a little greedy with that considering, all right, processor is going away, snow fort's going away. Maybe not, maybe we are good. Where are you at? Let's see, forge. So I think I would get rid of the hammer. Man, of note, we didn't pick up any of the guardian sentinels. That would have been a great pickup for us, but such is life. Uh, let's see. Four of Vines we don't need, obviously. We may not need Seek Power. Take the spell out. So, how many ways we got for blue? We have one, two. Two ways, three, four. Yeah. Might be okay. Five technically. Uh, I may not be thrilled about predatory instincts actually. Go ahead and cut that. Hmm. Counting these things really highly because of the pledge. Maybe the ember ring we do get rid of. Just gives us something to do with any power we're not using, so I, I really like that aspect of it, you know. So, uh, let's see. Wicked Ages also ramps us a little bit. Where am I being greedy? Where am I being greedy? One, two, three. The assistant. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can cut. Yeah. So we need to make two more cuts. I guess we can cut fledgling. I mean, it is a flyer though, but it is also the least impactful. Sure. Cut the fledge and then, what's that put us at? 16. Cut those two. We got one more cut. I just being greedy with the captain was it pump pumps this guy pumps this guy sand crawler hack beast locust not really that much man I do get rid of him sure shot we have the potential of making it pretty big mm -mm -mm -mm. Cut a javelin. All right, let's do that. Go back, put our random sigils in there again. There you go. And I think that's our deck. Sweet, so let's give it a shot. Let me uh, timestamp this real quick. Let's do it. Cool. All right, going on to game one. if we can get to uh, Masters this week. Let's see. 
Yeah, I'm actually okay with this. Yeah. Nothing on turn two, but then we could play all our stuff turn three. I like that. We potentially have some, yeah. Oh, there's our turn two play, if we need it. Yeah, that might have been wrong. It might have been a, a more important to, uh, yeah. We'll take six from this guy. Uh, Oh, well, that worked out. Let's, uh, this guy out. And we're not going to block, so we'll just go ahead and swing. Block here, take some damage from this guy. Of note, they also have their guy they war cried twice. So we'll see what that ends up being. Alright, well, I will offer... They won't waste the combat trick. I think I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm glad we blocked there. So let's play this. Go for a red. And, uh. Man, we're just gonna get spanked by this guy, aren't we? And I don't think it matters really. Yeah, we'll just play this guy. We're gonna take a turn off to play this guy, but then we can like trigger. Is it when you play a unit? Ooh, yeah, there's a combo. Okay, cool. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna take damage here. I'm gonna take one more turn off, but I think next turn we can really get. So this, place it on that, triggers all of this shenanigans. Maybe put it actually on that, so we could block that guy. Yeah. Okay, opponent's somewhat going off. Oh man, that was huge. Gosh darn it. Alright, well now our life toll is getting low, so cool. That was a little unfortunate, but not horrible. Two, we have the two more to give this guy, so... Man, that stinks. Uh, ugh. Yeah, uh, that's gross. All right, well now I feel a little dumb. We should probably attack now that I know they have something. Uh, let's go ahead. We have red, so we'll get blue again. Pass. Ugh, that was a... Hmm, so they definitely... I know they have something, but we just have to, right? Alright, so that helps us a little bit. We're going to keep this guy back. There's no point. What is it, attacker? Hmm. That's really unfortunate. They're we we're just gonna go off. This was gonna get us three off of one guy. All right. I think we're still okay. Believe it or not, at least we figured out what those war cry triggers were on. But we can block this way to get this guy. Yeah. Yeah. And you can totally like 12 for one us. See? 
Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, they had to have something, but uh, that won't kill anything. gives us a blocker but we have no cards in hand and they have a bunch so yeah and they're gonna draw a bunch more oh, now they can attack and just snowball this guy that's not cool oh man yep well we can't take That was a little unfortunate for us. Well, at least this guy blocks. So block, block, we take two. But they have four cards and we have zero. Uh, yep, yeah, block and block. Geez, three of these? One, two, yeah. One, two, three, yeah. All right, well, this helps a little bit. But once again, we have two turns. Correction, one turn. All right. Not great, but it's not horrible either. All right, let's, come on. I don't think our deck's bad either. It's the crazy part about it. Uh, let's go. Like I said, if uh, the opponent didn't have the one answer to our uh, our deck there, or the, the forge, I think it would have been an entirely different game. Uh, blue, green, oh, perfect, yeah, I'll take that. And we have potential ramp for later on. So we'll blue first. No, no need to pledge here. So blue. Oh, well, maybe I should have, just to make sure we hit four, but I think we'll be okay. Yep, that's fine. Let's get this guy out, and... We'll get... Alright, let's see. Ooh, it can't be good. All right, all right. Getting some cards out, getting some cards out. We will three, then next turn we can four. Let's play a power stone. All right, we got some blockers. We're doing all right. I don't think we're, uh, uh, that's a little annoying. All right, there we go. All right, so we're actually gonna wait on this guy because I just need to take this dude out. We can't just let that guy go off. I'd rather do it now that our opponent is potentially tapped out. Good news is we have a couple of ways. He might come in handy. All right. Going wide for sure. Let's, uh, let's get this guy out. Pass. So I'm assuming he's going to kill something, make something go wide, etc., etc. So let's block like this you can do whatever you need to yep saw that coming oh that's not good for us I think we're still just gonna permafrost uh, any big thing they play I mean we're uh, you got another one all right, well, we'll block now, because we have no choice. 
Yeah. Wow. That, that, yeah. Wow. All right. Didn't realize that deck was a thing. Uh, I mean, but our opponent pulled it off. All right. Let's see if we can win a game. this to get us that I'm not thrilled about it but we do get to play so well now I actually don't think I pledge there yeah I don't just give me time so we can next turn Yeah, it's just an early game that I'm not thrilled about. Other than that, I think our deck is fine. Uh, let's see, nothing. Three and then four. No, four. Yeah, because they might. Maybe we hold off on this one. We'll see. We'll see how their games go. Uh, yeah, that guy's gonna get through. There we go, now we have all our colors. Right, well, I'm not gonna block with any of it, so we'll just go in there and race. Next turn, play this guy, right? Because I'll have to play a unit and pump this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play the Surveiller first. Wait on this guy, yep. Plus with this combo, we might just play this on seven or six, sack it, not worry about the gun down. We'll take a look at it. All right. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Of note, they didn't play a unit. They didn't play anything. So they have potentially a combat trick, and if they do, it's fine. I'd rather them use it on the surveiller first. So that's why, yep. And I will offer up that trade. Go ahead and use whatever you need to. Hopefully they're stuck on power. That would actually be kind of nice for us. Because as right now, we're winning this race. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a red. Let's, I guess we just go for blue here. That was kind of close. Let's get in there. Boop, boop, boop. Play this guy. And we'll probably take three. Interesting. I think I want to wait for the gun down, or I could give him quick draw. Ooh, that might not be bad. And I draw a card. Let's see. Six. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, it only pumps you one. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, I think waiting for the gun now would be totally worth it. And putting it on over one, yeah, I'll wait. It'd be too greedy, so I'm gonna wait right now. Ooh, he doesn't have a fast spell. That might have been a mistake now, unless he's just spamming the button. It's a little unfortunate, but not horrible. Uh, of course, now I'm not gonna draw what I need to. Could put a plus four on this guy. Am I being too greedy right now? <sighs> Sack this, put a plus four on him. If that's the case, I'd rather just quick draw. Plus four, then he, yeah. Alright, 
let's see if that gets the job done. Ooh, all right. So we're two away from this guy instead of one. Now watch this, but I think, I mean, putting him at five has gotta be pretty good, right? And this guy has overwhelm, so even if they block and kill it, like they're still gonna take some damage, plus they have these guys. Cool, got there, nice. I'll take that. Cool. So we at least got one game in there. I will be okay with that. All right, let's take another one, get some freaking gold chest in here. Because, I mean, I've done before where I've rattled off. I've lost the first two and they're rattled off like five wins. So we'll see if that's a thing. I mean, do I have high hopes? Uh, I don't know, maybe. I don't know, our deck kind of felt like it did some things there. I am starting to think that maybe I do cut one of the top guys. <sighs> Excuse me. but I don't want to give it up so I'll take it uh, and I just realized that we don't have fire okay that might have been that maybe might have been a little closer to an actual redraw we'll see what martini has for us I forgot we had that in our deck We'll just ride Locust to victory. So we can't cast anything else in our hand right now. That doesn't bode well. Alright. We can at least cast Permafrost. So if they have something ridiculous... on the permafrost one more turn. I think we could take five here. See you. Hopefully we bait out something. Nope. nope. I don't really want to trade. My, all right, there we go. All right, let's play this for yeah. Hmm. And then we can turn this guy into a one. Can we race? We sack this, goes to seven. Ugh, I'm trying to think. Take seven, go down to 11, they're still... Oh man. Oh wait, one more turn. It's tough. I, only reason is this ramp will help us get something out, you know? All right, cool. Get 
This saw could block this, this could block that. Yeah, and then if we put that on, okay. We'll see what they do here. I mean, either way, we're blocking and blocking. It's not great, but this guy's really dangerous. If we could just get one sigil off the top, then I think we'll be in better shape. Because then we can kill this guy. We can't kill this guy. Obviously, he actually has quick draw. Put it on... I think I'll put it on this guy just to make him huge. Man. Yep, that was bad. Yeah, or just our intro. Yeah, I knew that was coming. We should have just used the removal spells. That was that was my bad. Turn this, freeze that. Freeze that guy, turn the guy. We still just lose block here. All right, we'll see. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Should have blocked sooner, blocked here at least or something. Yeah. Oh man, bummer. All right, well, that ends that draft. We're gonna do another one though, so hang on. Cool, got a little upgrade out of that. All right. All right, let's do second draft. So let me mark that real quick. Eh. All right, let's see what we can get. Let's see if we do better this time. All right, what's this? Shift on. Oh, we already checked that one. I like banner. I think banner is pretty solid. Confl Conflagrate's good as well. So is Monk, um, but yeah, I think at all, yeah, I'll take the banner. All right, Forge, sure. To do nothings at five, another banner. Let's start looking at our low drops. I don't wanna take another banner, that puts us at way. So maybe Cartographer. Court Mage. I think I'm actually going to take the Court Mage here. Puts us in Ixton, which I think is a great color combo. Uh, Hammer is actually starting to grow on me. But. Yeah. I'll take the Mage here. Let's see. Uh, the Recruit. Obviously, we just saw it do some work. Uh, I think we can get a Sentinel late. So yeah, I'll take the Recruit here. Let's uh, see where we're going. Take the Cartographer. Uh, confiscate is fine. Mass Entomancy, maybe take it just so we have some removal right now. Not really thrilled about going. <laughs> This way again. Uh, I can't remember if we've seen it, how many of these we've seen already. So we may have to abandon Rallying Banner. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. I think. What else? Let's see. Alright, take Grandfather's Axe here. Meh, I don't really. I think this card is great per se. Uh, let's take the fixing here. Yeah, we'll take the fixing. Ooh, display of ambition. Oh gosh darn it. Uh, 
Sure. Don't know yet if we're going to run it or not. We'll take a late Sentinel. Sure. Take Blaze. We'll cut those. Cut Display and Blaze. All right, let's see. All right, I can get behind the order of the Spire. What else is in here? Uh, this guy will help us splash. But maybe. We'll see. Take order. Ooh, I'm actually going to take Merchant. I'm not going to lie. I just, I just believe it or not, I still need him. Um, actually, isn't anything else that great in this pack minus these two drops. So I'll take the Merchant. <sighs> Stormcaller. I'm still kind of on the fence about Stormcaller, honestly. I don't know if it's great or not. Um, Arcanist is solid just because of the Entomb effect. Twin Barrel is a great way to trigger... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Renowned. So... Yeah, maybe if we were time, I'd be more inclined to take Stormcaller because giving it Deadly would do a big thing. Sure. Oh, what's this one do? Each one of your units deals one damage to the enemy player. All right, I like that. Nothing else is really calling out to me. It does look like time may be open going this way, but we'll see. Um, barricade. Give one of your blocking. Yeah, that's a kill spell. I mean, it'll take something. It's a splash. We want to use it later in the game. Yeah, sure. Oh, let's see, let's see. Uh, two, two for two, and it kills an attachment. I think that's a solid pickup right now. Uh, here, I will take Javelin, just because it's pseudo removal. Take three, three for three over premium, yeah. Uh, t -t 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 strength of many, maybe. Uh, I guess if I'll take the young gun. I'm not planning on playing it. Uh, not really stunning, but just in case, I'll take that. So let's cut. Let's see, Umbrun is good. Cut. Icebreaker is cut. Ooh, what's this guy? All right, I could I could take my Aegis units being Aegis. Nothing else really great. I mean, the Pillar of Amar is great, but once again, we might be getting time one way and then cut the other way. I didn't see anything the other So, sure. I'll take giving our guys Aegis. Ugh. That'd be a tough one. I do like Wasp. What else? What's this guy do? Choose a weapon with cost three or less from your deck and play it. Uh, where are weapons at? Let's see. We got Twin Barrel. All right. It helps us go get Twin Barrel. I kind of like that. Sure. Uh, I think that might be the end of our top end if we're going to pick up the Predator. I think we are. All right, so it looks like we have everything on our top end. We want to start looking at the bottom end of our curve. Uh, that being said, there's nothing in here, so I'll take the Murnane Mage. Uh, let's see. Nope, we're already good on high drops four with a fire, but it is double. Uh, we already, all right, we're good on the top end. Let me see. Eight, seven, six. Yeah, we're good. So, think out of two. Yeah. Uh, Ugh, man. Take that. I'm playing any of this stuff, man. It's crazy. Sure. All right. Well, last pack didn't. This this pack didn't really have much for us. I will admit that. 
so let's cut these horrible cards out of here. Warren can go away. Barricade, Bold Adventure. We're not playing. Longsword, maybe Grenadier. All right, let's see. Death Cap. Might just take it for the rare. Do we need... Let's see. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. We got Beastmaster. We're definitely going to take Beastmaster. It's one of the payoffs for this deck in color combination. So we will take it over the Death Cap. Another Ambition. Uh, and Mighty Strikes and Oathkeeper. Gilded Flames. Man, another Ambition would be nice. But I don't think we're splashing. Gosh, that stinks. We Did we take the other Ambition? We did. Hmm. Oh, we cut blue? I mean, yeah. Are we? Hmm. That's tough. That's kind of interesting. We cut, let me see, a removal spell. Give all our guys Aegis. We lose the Beastmaster. We lose one of our top end cards. And a mage? Hmm. That is a bit of a tough one. I mean, I feel like it's a little late to swap now. Man. No, yeah, we'll just stick to our game plan. We'll take Mighty Strikes. Uh, I think it's fine to take one fall short, I think is good. Though I do like Hammer. Uh, we'll take the lower cost spell. I think we can maybe pick up a Hammer later. Let's take... Uh, there's the Ambition token too. Uh, Bannerman. What do we got for twos? Actually just, two, well, I think Bannerman, we need the fixing more. Uh, let's see, nothing doing in here. Oh, we could take the treasure. Nothing exciting here as well. We'll just take the uncommons. Oh man, this, I'm not gonna even get into it. Like this. Oh, we took the fall short and the other one wheeled. Great. Uh, let's take the cartographer. Keep filling up our low end curve. Sure. I don't think we have. Oh, we do have display. This is so many visions. Oh no. All right. Never mind. We weren't gonna play that. Uh, let's. Take the attachment kill. Man, we could have picked up a ton of these now. And we were getting time in packs too. Maybe we should have cut green. I mean, hey, hindsight is 2020. Oh well. Alright, let's see where we're at. Not thrilled about this deck. We're gonna have to play really tight. So uh, strikes plunder can probably go. Bottomy for sure, Meltdown maybe, uh, Spitfire can go, Magla's fine. Well, actually, yeah, we can cut the Meltdown since we have the Sage. This is gonna go, Blood Quill's gonna go, one, two, three, Beastmaster. This might get cut, we'll see where we're at. It's because it's double green. I think green is still just as still gonna be our splash. So yeah, we'll cut that even though it is a flyer. Cause all the stuff we want later. So I think that's fine. Let's see. Oh, ritualist can go. That's automatic. Cut the cloud snake maybe. Well, we can give it some easy pumps and stuff. Twin Barrel. F 
forge rally twin axe. Let's cut the sword. I think that's the least impactful of all of them. Add power. 17, we want one more. So, what do we cut? Animancy. And let's add fire. All right, cool. Let's try this. All right, let's see if we do any better with this one. Keep our fingers crossed we get there. Rack up a couple of wins. Make our money back. Just maybe do another draft for you guys. Uh, nope. I'm going to ship this one because it's not showing. There we go. And this is still not doing anything. Uh, but it has all our colors. This is a risky keep. I'm not happy about it, but we'll give it a shot. We need to draw something. It actually has two over three. All right. That is not the something I was looking for. That also is not the something I was looking for. All right. Complete opposite of what we want to draw, but at least we have an answer to it next turn. Actually, yeah, we just gotta kill that. If not, we, yeah. Stinks, but that's the bigger threat. Yeah. Come on. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Alright. Yeah, I think we already lost. Yeah, I'm drawing any units right now. Take six, go to 11. They're gonna play something big. All right. Uh, play this. Power out. We'll see what's up. We have cut ties, death strike. Might as well block we can kill. Save this for... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's give it the plus. Oh wait, hold on. Alright. Let's go this way. See if we can get back in this. Ooh, and we could double damage. We may be able to steal this game. I mean, we know they have something. They just chose not to use it. Which, what are we looking at? I mean, it could be a couple of things. I guess quick strike. Hmm. I really have no idea what they would have in this color combination. But I do think we're gonna hit him with, all right, that's, yeah. No, I'm gonna wait, surprise him with the double damage. What do we get, what do we get? Flying, all right. Uh, and we're just gonna play this guy. 
Uh, reason being, I don't want to leave Barricade up if they try to do like some crazy shenanigans. Or Mighty Strikes, I guess. Hopefully they can't kill our guy. Uh, Alright. Oh man, Mighty Strikes just... <sighs> yep. Alright, let's see if we die or not. I'm assuming we do. No. Ooh. Oh my god, did we just steal this game? I totally think we just stole this game. So it's 16 plus... God, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, that was some serious luck. Holy cow. We stole that game. They had us dead to rights. Alright, well, I got paid off a little bit for being a little greedy. Um, so, we'll see. That was close, man. That was real close. Holy crap. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <sighs> well, I like starting off with a win, even if it is a uh, steal like that. Yeah, I definitely like the call of uh, waiting on the double damage one. I think that, I mean, we got lucky there. There's no doubt about it. Our opponent had multiple ways of not dying there. But I think we're waiting to do double damage. Surprising him worked out. All right, I learned from my lesson. So we will ship this. Oh, gosh darn it. Uh... I'll pledge, and yeah. Man. Maybe the other hand was keepable. I uh, just same thing, we didn't have any units. Might be a little greedy with the power base, but I don't feel like it is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pledge. Wanna make sure at the very least we can get this guy down. the turn brother <laughs> all right cool I like that let's uh yeah cuz I can get rid of my strikes let's go ahead and do this or strength of many yeah get rid of our splash color right now I'll block this guy I think He'll just attack. Yeah, we'll take two. All right, that's looking okay. Ooh, and our opponent didn't attack. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. It's way... Oh, and they're stuck on power. Okay, my bad. I'd complete... Well, they were stuck on power. I missed that. Alright. 
Well, let's get the forge down and hopefully we start drawing some gas. So the only thing that kind of stinks about this, it doesn't really combo off with Sharpshooter that much. All right, opponent going to the air. Interesting. Of course, of course, why would we draw anything else right now? Oh, come on. I knew we were susceptible. For, oh, that's, that's a thing as well. Ooh, all right. That was a lucky top deck. We will totally destroy that. And now I think we can get in there. I can't double damage yet, but we are totally going to start getting in there for some... Try to keep up. Because we are losing this race right now. Really badly. Still need some answers. What do we have in our deck? Uh, <laughs> poop. I think we still attack though. Yep. Not what I wanted to see. That won't kill him though. Oh, we can't even play it. Gosh, man. All right, well, let's get in there. Three turns to find an answer. Two turns, yeah, still three. Uh, that's a shame. That's not gonna do us any favors, right? We killed this. We take two, we go down to five. Okay, this might actually be a little more worth it then. Let's Gave us one extra turn. Or not. And nope. Darn it. That was unfortunate. Alright, let's look at the deck real quick. Gosh, man. I had some really great drafts where I like 7 2'd and stuff. And now it's just. Alright, let's see. What could, oh, well, we had Cloud Snake. Jeez. So we had Cloud Snake. What else do we have for Flyers? We have Watch Wing. So we have some things. I just... Alright, what else do we have? Kill and Touch we don't need. Exhaust is fine we have two drops spitfire isn't the answer we're looking for we're not stunning anything yeah I, I just don't see it I think we're just gonna have to be light light on removals of flyers yeah. All right. Still have faith we can rattle off a couple of wins, I think. Actually, you know what? I will be right back. I'm gonna grab some coffee and give me a second.
we are back. Let's try to get some more winds rattled off. Appreciate you guys tuning in. This is Jedi once again from Eternal Journey, the limited podcast. Trying to get our way to uh, Masters. So... Uh, sure. I'll keep this because I'm going to pledge this guy and use the banner for green. So. Stick to the game plan. Go three, four. Actually, yeah. I did that so I could steal some more cry triggers off this, um, which, <clears throat> all right. So, let's see if they take this trade. All right, well, we'll start this train going. I'm gonna take any blocks here because, yeah, there we go. And actually, let's just do this. I think we'll get this out of the way right now. Wife tapped out. We get another war cry trigger. Block. No, really block. Oh, okay. All right. That bodes well for us, actually. <clears throat> so let's get double red going. Play this dude. One, two, three, four, five. They have to wipe they have to wipe their board. Now I'll just wait. I can play patient right now. One more trigger, this gotta be a 16-16, I could just start swinging freely. Let's see where we're at there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that bodes well for us. What does this guy do again? And quick draw. Okay, so we actually do kind of have to leave this guy back. Hmm, do we get the axe or do we get double damage? I think we get the axe, right? To just upgrade everything? Because that guy on his own, like the double damage is irrelevant. So yeah. Oh, we get to put it on something? <clears throat> Let's uh, put it on him. One, two, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow. Well, darn. He had the one uncommon to take our guy down. That's great. That's a little frustrating. I thought we were safe too with one attack here what happens I think we wait a turn All right he can block with these two and we only kill one of them but well I start doing something Let's see how he plays it No, uh, I could have waited on that, but I guess I just wanted to get that over with. Oh, well, plus, yeah, never mind. I did, yeah, he's going to do exactly what I thought he was going to do. We'll just go ahead and kill this guy. Get the hatchet back, and we could put it on this guy in this swing. Same thing, keep trading up. I'll sack whatever equipment he puts on this guy. Yeah, we will take two. We're on a clock for sure. Ooh, all right. Well, let's just not get crazy. Get this and swing. Hmm. Let's just play this guy out and we'll see where we put the hat the axe at. I'm assuming he won't attack with this dude. Uh, and we didn't have the barricade. Gosh darn it. The one time. That's annoying. All right, well, let's get in there. That was actually dumb. And I'll tell you why, because I could have, he went went to kill something and I could have done a uh, 13, yeah, that was dumb. Well, I mean, we were right about the clock. That's why I was attacking him so aggressively. <sighs> Come on. I'd like to get another draft out of this. Oh, man. Man, him having that defiance was clutch for sure. See if we get a little bit of luck on our side. So, yeah, I'll keep this. I have a turn one play and some follow up stuff. I'm not thrilled about it, but we can play everything. So, I think. Oh, wait. 
right, let's just turn one that gives us a little bit more information about how we want to do this. I mean, we could potentially just put it on this and start smacking them for four in the air, which could be a thing. Uh, let's do it. See if we can steal a win here, maybe. Is that being too greedy? Then we have nothing else going on. Screw it. It's not coward stream. Let's do it. Alright, no fastball. Good. No conflagrate. Alright. That bodes well for us. That means we'll win this race. Uh, let's see. Red, green, green. So this is going to be blue. All right, well, I want that. <laughs> we're still ahead. Except we're not doing anything now. Mega not doing anything. Ooh, I feel really dumb burning it. High risk, high reward, right? Yeah. Next turn, play this guy. All right. He's stuck. We'll get the hatchet. Play this. Have yep. All right. a big play it's kind of a big play all right so he's gonna put the shock room back in this guy we have to block so we don't want to lose this guy so let's just go with A shot. All right. Oh, that's that. That's what I get for. Uh, that's why I always try to be conservative, man. Gosh darn it! Wow, that was we did absolutely horrible today. Two wins and two drafts, man. Well, that is that. Let's see what our consolation pack brings us. Legendary? Nope. Yeah. Well, I apologize, chat. I would have liked to do another draft for you, but we apparently did horrible today. So, yeah, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, this is Jedi once again with Eternal Journey. You guys check out the limited podcast. Uh, try to post every week uh, discussing uh, various parts of limited and occasionally constructed. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.